Good heavens on the go. Tuesday, December 14th, 2021. Topic. All your heart, soul, and mind. Memory verse. Matthew 22, 37. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Bible reading. Matthew 22, 35 to 38. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him, and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. The message. God wants you to be totally His. The Lord says in Exodus 23, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. There should be nothing standing between you and God. You shouldn't also allow anyone or anything take his place in your life. God must be your all in all. Beloved, you cannot claim to truly love God with all your heart, soul, and mind if anyone or anything is more important than him in your life. Jesus Christ described our memory verse today as the first and great commandment. Matthew 22, 38. It will hence amount to disobedience if you do not fulfill this commandment and every transgression of God's commandment is sin. 1 John 3, 4. This then means that loving God with all your heart, soul, and mind is not optional but compulsory for all his children. You must therefore not set your heart on the material things of this life if you would please God. The Bible says, But they that will be rich fall into temptation and snare, land into many foolish and hurtful laws, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which, while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. First Timothy 6, 9-10 The Lord Jesus Christ further said, No man can serve two masters, for either will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Matthew 6, 24 Acknowledge the supremacy and excellency of the Almighty God, the Lord of the heavens and the earth, at all times and in all you do. Beloved, God desires that you should set your heart, soul, and mind on Him alone. This is the only way to be truly godly and to serve Him acceptably. Every form of worldliness will eventually produce sin. Therefore, godliness and contentment must become your watchword. 1 Timothy 6.6 6. May your service be acceptable to him from today in Jesus' name. Action Point Determine to love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind from today. Determine to love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind from today. 
Bible reading in one year. First Peter. Him for today. Jesus, my Lord, my God, my all. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.